Tesla's revenue expected to rise 61% in 2022. July 13, 2022. CFRA equity research analyst Garrett Nelson reiterated his optimistic stance on Tesla Nasdaq TSLA, which is quite evident in his $1.100 price target on the electric vehicle maker's stock. The analyst highlighted that Tesla might be hitting some momentum soon, especially as its new factories start their operations. In his note, Nelson stated that CFRA is estimating Tesla's revenue to rise by 61% in 2022. 37% in 2023, and 17% in 2024, after an increase of 71% in 2021. A key driver for Tesla's revenue increase in the coming years will be the company's new production facilities. According to the analyst, the primary driver of the anticipated revenue increase in 2022 and beyond is higher volumes from the startup of its new factories in Texas and Germany. Much of Tesla's capacity has shifted from producing the Model 3 to producing the Model Y which debuted in March 2020. Nelson wrote, the CFRA analyst added that Tesla's vehicle sales will rise 53% in 2022, 39% in 2023, and 15% in 2024 after an 87% jump in 2021. Nelson noted that apart from a global expansion strategy, Tesla's vehicle deliveries would likely get a boost with the introduction of new electric cars like the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi, which should finally be available next year, following the completion of its new factories in Germany and Texas. We think TSLA will build plants in India and elsewhere. As it executes on its goal to increase annual volumes to 20M units in 2030 a 40X increase over 2020 levels. TSLA's 2021 vehicle sales of 936k units were up 87% from 500k units sold in 2020. Deliveries are likely to ramp further when the Cybertruck and the Semi become available starting in 2023. Nelson wrote, the analyst also highlighted that Tesla's balance sheet has improved materially over the last few years. In an interview, Nelson explained that Tesla has become quite formidable in the past years especially as the company and its CEO, Elon Musk, focused on achieving their ambitious targets. I think what you've seen over the last few years though is that Elon Musk very focused on Tesla and that's why their execution has been so great. If you look at the quarterly earnings, they've beat 10 of the last 11 quarters. I think it's really a testament to his focus. Nelson said, source reposted and summarized from Simon Alvarez at Tesla RT. My take this sounds about right. The second half of 2022 is going to be something to watch. Tesla Hertz partnership expands to 16 new cities. July 13, 2022, Tesla's partnership with Hertz has expanded to 16 new cities, including Boston, Las Vegas, New York City, Philadelphia, and San Diego, among many others. Tesla and Hertz struck a non-signed deal late last year that would see 100.000 all-electric vehicles from the Elon Musk-headed company make their way to the rental agency. Since then, Tesla has been fulfilling orders for the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles for several months. In January in a statement to Tesla RT, Hertz confirmed it was receiving Model 3 units. Hertz also clarified to us that Model E's were included in the original order and the 100,000 cars were not specifically Model 3 units. Hertz says it is actively receiving Tesla Model 3 rental cars across the country. Update Hertz told Tesla RT in a statement that it cannot currently share delivery figures but it did confirm that they are actively receiving deliveries for both our retail and Uber rental fleet and have availability in several markets throughout the country as part of our phased national rollout. Hertz said earlier today that it is. Initially. Hertz made its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles available in Atlanta, Gar, Fort Lauderdale, FL, Los Angeles, CA, Miami, FL, Orlando, FL, San Francisco, CA, and Washington DC now. 16 new cities are being added to the company's locations that have Teslas available for rent Albuquerque, New Mexico, Atlanta, Georgia, Boston, Massachusetts, Burbank, California, Chicago, Illinois, Cincinnati, Ohio, Company, Mountains, Colorado, Dallas, Texas, Denver, Colorado, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada, Los Angeles, California, Miami, Florida, Newark, New Jersey, New York City, New York, Orlando, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sacramento, 
California, San Diego, California, San Francisco, California, San Jose, California, Washington DC Tesla's partnership with Hertz has also allowed other companies that specialize in sustainable powertrains to obtain deals with the rental agency. Polestar also has a deal for 65.000 units of the Polestar 2. It started deliveries in June. Hertz has not disclosed how many Tesla units it has accepted delivery of since the partnership began. But it seems the numbers are getting somewhat sizable considering this new expansion of locations. The $4.2 billion deal for 100.000 Tesla vehicles. Which was. Appears to be helping Hertz offer new. Technologically superior electric vehicles. Emitting ICE engines from its fleet and encouraging more customers to try an EV. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take great move by Hertz and good for Tesla as well. Tesla gains over 8% of luxury market share. Beating Mercedes and BMW. July 13, 2022. Tesla gained 8.6% of the total market share of luxury automotive sales in the United States in the first half of 2022 compared to the first half of 2021. Last year, Tesla held 13% of the luxury automotive market in Q1. Enough to beat Mercedes-Benz and BMW for the top spot. That number has now swelled to 21.6%. According to data from Automotive News, Tesla's first half of 2022 proved to be one of huge proportions in the United States. Where it avoided the troublesome sagas of COVID-related shutdowns that struck the company's other facilities in China. Tesla has always been the unequivocal leader in EVs in the United States, both in tech and in overall production and delivery volume. This year, the company will produce 1 million units globally for the first time in company history. And roughly half of those units will come from factories in the US one in Fremont, California, and another in Austin, Texas. Perhaps the most impressive feat of Tesla's continuing growth in the luxury sector is the fact that the company continues to fend off competitors from far and wide. Despite the biggest names in automotive production, like Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen bringing highly attractive EV models to their lineups, they haven't been able to catch up to Tesla on a global scale. Even more impressive, however, is Tesla's ability to dial in on a section of the overall automotive market that usually has buyers showing their preference for a certain brand or company. BMW and Mercedes-Benz have battled neck and neck on the automotive news rankings for many years. They're both staples in the market and especially in the luxury sector. However, Tesla's surge from small EV startup to a mainstay on the top of the podium in the luxury sector in the United States has shown that more luxury car buyers are also starting to prefer another important feature sustainability. Across Tesla's four vehicles, each has its own bit of individualism. The Model S stacks a luxury interior and high-tech HUD with world-class performance. While the Model X combines all three just with significantly more cargo room and who could forget the falcon wing doors. Meanwhile, the Model 3 and Y have minimalistic interiors, which offer the same advantages as the S and X but with less pizzazz. They're Tesla's mass-market vehicles. And they accounted for 238,533 of Tesla's 254,695 deliveries in Q2. Tesla will continue to grow over the coming years and it will hopefully figure out when it can offer some of the highly anticipated models that it plans to bring to the market. The Cybertruck and Roadster may be two vehicles that are highly anticipated. But they're also crucial to Tesla's relevance in two more sectors that are showing worthy competition pickups. Where it will battle with Rivian, Ford, GM, and others. And the hypercar sector, where Remac has established itself as a worthy number one. Let's not forget about Lamborghini and Ferrari. Either. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take at first they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. Then they try and copy you. Then Tesla wins. Is a Tesla Model Y better than a Tesla Model 3? July 13, 2022. The Tesla Model Y is Tesla's most popular vehicle. With a good amount of space. But it costs quite a bit more than the Model 3. Which car is better overall? Let's find out. The Tesla Model Y that was shown in this video cost about $80,000 in Europe. With lots of features. The steering wheel on this car is on the other side. The car is controlled by the Tesla app that works to open the front of the car. For example, 
The front of the car looks a little bit froggy and this owner liked the look of the Model S better. The Model Y looks like a squished version of the Model X. The roof is nice and there is a panoramic view of glass overhead. The back of the car has quite a bit of space. There is a catch though. This does not include a shelf or anything at the back of the car. You can hide things underneath the floor of the trunk area. But after that, everything is out in the open. Useful if you want to lay down in the car. In my opinion, there's quite a bit of space in the back with nice legroom. It's a fairly spacious car and the glass overhead is very nice. There aren't any Model Y LFP batteries yet. The Tesla Model 3. The Tesla Model 3 is a fun car to drive and handles very well. It will outshine the Model Y in that way. There is also a standard range Model 3 available around the world. Including the United States. With LFP batteries that lets you charge to 100%. The Model 3 will not have as much spacious room as the Model Y if you're looking for a lot of room and shoving a bunch of stuff in your car constantly. The Model the third of may not be for you. The Model 3 and Model Y have all the same software options. The option for a light show. For navigate on autopilot and upgrades to enhanced autopilot and full self-driving. The Model 3 is also much cheaper than the Model Y for instance. I put an order for a Model 3 RWD with LFP batteries that should arrive next month and it cost me a base price of $44,500. This is about $20,000 less than the Model Y long range option. Which was out of my price range. I will be sacrificing just a bit of space for a cheaper car that can charge to 100% with LFP batteries and that I will mainly use for commutes to work or going out to eat. Going to venues or concerts. Or going to the gym. I won't be hauling much in my car or needing to tow anything. So the Model 3 makes a lot of sense for me. Do you like the Tesla Model Y better than the Tesla Model 3? Which one would you get? Source reposted and summarized from Jeremy Johnson at Talk News. My take unless you need the extra room. The Model 3 is the way to go.